Decepticons. As your new leader, I... Who disrupts my coronation? Coronation, Starscream? This is bad comedy. Megatron? Is that you? What's up, fellow collectors? P Rock Zelda back again for another review, and today we're taking a look at the Mini Mates Series 3 Transformer figures. There are two other ones before this, and there are also two VHS sets available at Diamond Select Toys. With that in mind, I want to thank Diamond Select Toys for giving me the opportunity to review these Mini Mates. These kind of stood out to me from the other ones because as this turns around, the Transformer, I'm not sure about the other ones. I don't have any of the other ones. This is the only one I have currently, but as you can see, they have that nice metallic sheen glow on them, and that's different from the other ones. Not only that, they're a bit bulkier, obviously, because of Transformers. This set right here is cool to me because Jazz is my favorite figure, I'm sorry, favorite character from the Transformers series, obviously because of Shades. He's a cool jive turkey, the way he talks, hip-hop and all that stuff. And then, of course, the movies, man. Transformers is a big part of my childhood. I remember going to the movie theaters, watch the movie. I cried my butt off when Optimus Prime died. I felt bad for Ultra Magnus who was trying to open the Matrix and he got destroyed. And as you can see here, going back to the movie too, you have Galvatron and Starscream here. And that Starscream scene was so cool when Starscream thought he finally was in charge of Decepticons. Put the crown on in the cape and then Megatron showed up and destroyed him. So with that, I'm so happy to have these in hand. And I want to get these opened up because I want to see if that, like, that shine kind of you know messes up with some of their articulations. So... With that in mind, let's get this review started. Dolly! What's up, fellow collectors? Dolly! All right, let's take a look at the package before we get the figures out the package. I'm going to say box, but this is not a box. So right there in the front, you got the Mini Mates. Choking Hazard, you got Galvatron, Starscream, Jazz, RC. You got the Transformers logo, nice little red for the Autobots, purple for the Decepticons. Right in the back, you got some pictures of the actual characters from the cartoon. Got a nice little pose of the figures here and a little bio. So let's go ahead and read the bio real quick. Transformers are living human-like robots with the unique ability to turn into vehicles or beasts. The stories of their lives, their hopes, their struggles, and their triumphs are chronicle chronicled in epic saga that span in an immerse, immersive and exciting universe where everything is more than meets the eyes. Everybody remembers that. Transformers, more than meets the eyes. But the ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Anyways, all right, so there we go. So let's go ahead and get the figures out the package. So I still always show the clamshell real quick. So here's the clamshell once you get the figures out the package. The Transformers logo thing is like glued on there. I peeled it off real quick just to show you guys a clear view of the clamshell. So there we go. All right. Let's go ahead and take a close look at the figures and the accessories in 4K. There we go. All the figures laid out with all the accessories. And real quick, I forgot about the stands. But these stands right here are awesome. I will say these things are better than NECA ones. I know NECA figures have more weight. But these things pegging like there's a good, you know, a good tight squeeze fit there. The NECA ones tend to seem a little loose and break off. Anyway, it's not about NECA. It's about Diamond Select Mini Mates. So let's look at RC first. I do like that metallic paint, but it looks a little blotched right there in the front right there. I'm not sure if there's a QC issue right there. Just, you know, I know these figures are really small, so sometimes, you know, it's hard to get paint in there. But yeah, man, this is pretty cool. I like that metallic paint on there, like the little pink glow on there. Backpack looks cool. And one thing real quick, when you want, if you want to move the head on her, you have to hold the face to move the head. Because if you don't, this is what's going to happen. It's going to look like Flash from, you know, that younger Flash when we had the Batman call on there. It was all like loose and stuff. All right, so let's look at her articulation. So her arm's going to go fully or not really fully. She can do a semi-T pose. Arms can go all the way up. Can obviously go back because her backpack. You get 90 degree bend right there. The waist, you get waist articulation. Now, the articulation for most of these are going to be the same. So I'm not going to do the articulation on all of them. Only on the ones that I think may have some hinderation because of the, like some parts on there. Is that even a word, hinderation? Oh, I may have made that up. I don't know. Maybe hinder. <laughs> hinderation. Hateration, holleration in this dancery. 
So the knees do bend. You, you do bend the knees like Game of Thrones. You do get the legs go all the way back this way, all the way back that way. So she could do the ballerina split. Or I'm sorry, the gymnastic split. Can't really do a split this way. You kind of hinder it right there. And then you do get a twist at the ankles. And this backpack is pretty cool. I like this backpack. You get the little diamond select stamp right there. 2022. All right, there's RC. Now, real quick, RC, I'm not sure if both of these guns are hers. So I looked in the back of the packaging, and RC's only had these little hand handguns. So I'm thinking that she, you know, she's dual wielding the handguns because uh, Jazz has the other one. Okay, let's take a quick look at the gun. It's a tiny little piece right there. Look at the paint right there. Nice little metallic paint on there. And if these are the same as the Ninja Turtles and G.I. Joe ones, these weapons should easily slot into the hands. But we will see that when we do the poses. Then she does come with a swappable face, or head, I'm sorry, that has the visor on. This is a good, I like the visor, cool thing. I may keep mine with the visor, that's, that's pretty cool. You know, you guys know me with the shades. Have her and Jazz chilling next to each other. All right, so let's go look at the Jazz. My man Jazz, look at, uh-oh, well, he came apart already. Let's put that back, all right. My man Jazz, another blotch paint right there. So kind of, you know, a little issue so far with two figures in a row. But look at the, I like the detail on the face. You can see the lips, the nose, the nice headlights right there. Autobot logo, that nice little metallic blue paint there. Love that. Black and white all through. Metallic paint on the legs. And he has the same articulation as RC. Actually, his seems, oh no, he has more of a, there we go, see? So he can do more of a T-pose. So there we go. Nice backpack in the back. The top of the car version. The head can spin all the way across. Now he only has one head. So you don't have to worry about spinning the head and the other stuff moving. Man, but this is cool. Look at the little wheels there. This is cool, man. I like the way these look. This, uh, the only problem I keep seeing is my torso keeps falling apart. Or keep coming, just like detaching. All right, so there we go. There's Jazz. Very cool, very cool. How come, I wonder why, you know, other figures, other companies don't make jazz that often. And, of course, here's his gun right here with the metallic paint on there also. That's really cool. And then, let's go look at Starscream. Starscream, I like that crown, man. That's cool with the crown. So, you can see the cape there. Now, the cape doesn't have, obviously, it doesn't have that metallic paint on there because it's supposed to be cloth. But it's on there. It doesn't come off. The wings don't move back. It's like a soft plastic. It's a little bit malleable. You can adjust a little bit, but you shouldn't. Now, he definitely should have limited articulation because of his shoulder pads. And the cannon's on his shoulder. So, yeah. So, he can't move at... Yeah, see? So you got to be careful with Starscream. He's the only one I would say has limited articulation. You can't get that pose where he's kind of putting the hand up when, you know, when he, he, Galatron first shows up. So, that kind of sucks. But the looks, man, for like a mini, like a mini mate, the looks are on point, though. You can see the cockpit right there. Nice metallic going on there. So this is pretty cool, man. He, I've all, obviously, because the cape has more of a weight. All right, let's go look at Galvatron now. Galvatron. Now, in my opinion, man, Galvatron, when, when I first saw the movie, man, I was like, all right, that's a cool different version of Megatron. But I still always prefer Megatron over Galvatron. The cannon looks cool. I love this cannon. That's pretty cool. It has a little transparent look through it. You kind of see through it a little bit. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's detachable. Yeah. Oh, look, it is. It is detachable. All right, cool. So that's good to know. That's good to know right there. All right, so Galvatron has a nice Decepticon logo right there. That nice purple metallic paint on there. The back of him. Now, his paint isn't as blush, so that's probably a good thing then, as you can see. Nice detail on the knees, the shins. Look at that. Galvatron. Imagine they made a Unicron. That's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask him. Like, you guys should do a Unicron. But that'll be pretty cool, man. But yep, yeah, there we go. So there's Galvatron. Definitely looks like Galvatron from the movie and the cartoons. And then, like I said, they all come with these stands. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison. And there they go. Default pose rate for size comparison. Real quick, Starscream definitely needs to be on that stand because the weight of the cape makes him fall backwards. Which is the same thing that happens with the actual Takara Tommy Masterpiece figure. And RC, same thing too. She keeps falling back a little bit. So I put both of them on the stands. Not much of a height difference. So just, you know, keep that in mind. All right, so let's bring some figures in here. The first figure I'm bringing, just because the holiday season and it's winter time, is going to be the Figma Olaf. Next, I want to bring in a NECA figure. And this is the NECA Mirage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splinter. 
Now, let's go ahead and bring in another mini mate, and this is going to be the mini mates, Donatello, Teenage Mutant Turtles. And just because I want to show you guys the pose I'm trying to accomplish with this star screen that's not letting me do it, and of course, this star screen is going to fall apart on me as I'm trying to do this. Here is the Takara Tommy Transformers Masterpiece star screen. And he fall, I guess he falls back too, as you can probably see. So there we go. That's the pose I would like to get that star screen, but I cannot because of the joints. And there we go. Nice size comparison. Just in case you have any of these other figures in your collection or your display currently, and you want to see how these mini mates will fit into your display. All right, let's go ahead and get the final thoughts and final poses. With this final pose, I want to have them all lined up, staying next to each other with their weapons equipped and some kind of like, you know, showing their weapons what they could do. As you can see, Star Screen can't do much. Um, but the weapons were easy to put on the hands. One cool thing about this I want to say is uh, it definitely brings a nostalgia feel when you have these figures in hand because as I was messing around with them, I kept humming that. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, not really humming, but like. Dun, 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 dun. The Transformers song. It kept going through my head. I kept saying it out loud. So, <laughs> and that wasn't intentional. I was just, I just noticed I was doing it. I was like, why the heck am I singing this for? So yeah, it definitely brings that feel and that joy of the Transformers when you were a kid. So that's one cool thing about this. But hey, I just want to show them real quick with the weapons on there. Jazz looking cool as hell. Man, these are pretty cool. All right, so in this final pose, I want to incorporate all the other mini mates I have except for the turtle ones because you know there was a crossover with G.I. Joe and Transformers. So in this final pose, I only have two Autobots so far. So we have Jazz right there. He's basically trying to tell RC, hey, go run. I got this. I got this. And he's like, you know, turning over his hand, like, go run. As you can see, she's turning her leg. She's about to turn and start running the other way. As she's do welding, trying to shoot Cobra and Decepticon foes. And on the other side, you see Storm Shadow running up there. You see Megatron right there laughing because he actually has Cobra Commander work. He, we all know Cobra Commander does no work when it comes to like the G.I. Joes and stuff like that. And then right here, you see, as always, Storm, uh, Storm Shadow, I was about to say, Starscream. Starscream right there running away with Destro's briefcase. He's like, nah, forget this. I don't want to fight these Joes. I'm going to run with this in hopes that he could basically use the suitcase after Galvatron's beaten by the Joes. And then you can see Destro's telling Baroness, go get him, go get him. And the Baroness like, yes, my love. So she's going to go run after Starscream right there. So yeah, man, this, like, this is one cool thing I like to do with these figures. Just have fun with them, like little pose battle scenes because they're small enough. You can get a full battle scene, like I'm, I'm basically a turntable. So I'm hoping I get to get the other Transformers and I do have um, the G.I. Joes. I'm going to review on the G.I. Joe ones. So I want to continue this battle on that review. So check out, be on the lookout for the G.I. Joe Mini Mates review. Because I'm going to finish this battle scene right there. And one of the final poses on that one right there. To make sure that the, you know, the Autobots are like on even playing grounds. You know, the same amount of Joes to help them out and counter back. But which Joes will it be? I don't know. You have to stay tuned for the next review. But man, one thing real quick with these figures. Um... I will say, of all the minimates that I've handled so far, I would say the G.I. Joe ones are the best posable ones. The Transformers one are the least posable just because of like, the bulkiness of their suits. But if you're the type of person who collects these and kind of keeps them in a default pose or whatnot, then that should definitely not be a problem because they do look like the characters from the cartoons. So if that's, what was, that's your aim, then yes, you're good to go. If you're one that likes me, who likes to pose them up, a little of a challenge with the jet with the transformers not impossible but a little bit challenge so if you don't mind a challenge you can get some poses accomplished they will be a little wonky but they will still get the point across and just like this battle scene right here as you can see there's many conflicts going on there and i'm just happy to have something like this to express some of the desires i wanted to do when i was a kid i had these toys not mini mates but actual gi joe transformers and i didn't do it in the past as a kid, so now I can reenact them with the mini mates. So definitely cool nostalgia feel with these figures. They definitely bring back the vibe of my old Transformers toys. Obviously not the tra transforming ones, whatnot, but ones that I can actually play around with and not have to worry about them breaking and whatnot. But if you want to pick up any of these mini mates, I will put the description right there. I'm gonna put it on the screen right now, and well, no, this is the link's gonna be in the in the description below. I'll put something on the screen just to point you guys to the description below. To pick up the Transformers one. And I'll actually throw a link in there to pick up the, some of the G.I. Joe ones. And uh, basically you could pick up any other ones from that same link. Just basically search them. And then there you go. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this cool battle scene. And I hope you enjoyed these little toys. If you did, please. Oh, one thing. Thanks again to Diamond Select Toys for letting me re do a nice review on these. I'm having fun with these, man. I was not expecting much from these mini mates. I'm actually having fun with these. Like, just this right here. This is what I look forward to the most. These little end scenes right here. Something I can just mess around with and not have to worry about grabbing all these figures for my display cases. So, if you did like this, re this review, please hit the like, subscribe button, click that bell notification. And as always, collectors, keep collecting, stay safe, be good, dollars.